Lucci Game. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kelly G. Look at Lou in the house. Make sure you stay tuned the like button. Don't be your life. Subscribe right now. Turn on your post notifications by clicking on the little bell. Ding. Anyways, um, it's a new day. Today is Tuesday, and we are already running errands. What's it good? We got our Audi back, but. They put the windshield wipers on backwards, man. I guess they had to take the windshield wipers off when they were working on it. I don't know why they had to take the windshield wipers off. But when we tried to turn the windshield wipers on, they were on backwards. So we're driving it back to the shop so they can switch them and put them on right. Today, we haven't ate breakfast, first of all, so I'm pretty hungry. My stomach is growling. But once we finish doing this, we're gonna grab a bite and then, um, Today, what is on the schedule for today is boom, boom, boom. Wedding planning, wedding planning. Wedding <laughs> what happened, honey? He doesn't sound too excited. <laughs> um, so I've been doing a lot of wedding planning on my own and like every time I try to bring it up to Lucky, he's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then when it's like, I'm already like hands in, hands on, and I'm like working on something. He's like, well, hold on, that's not what I want. And I'm like, but I had already asked you and you said yes. So, um, you know, uh, so we decided that we were going to like, just put it on the schedule and- um, Lock off today. Yeah. And just spend the whole day doing what we gotta do. For the wedding. Thunderbird, got my boy Lok G under the hood. He put the new engine in and forgot to put my wipers on the right way, correct way, upside down. He's smoking too much wacky tobacco. Yeah, that's the problem. The shit over here. <laughs> it's on. Let's test it. There you go. There you go. Hey. You can never have a triumph without an issue. You can't have a miracle without a tragedy. That's so right. So in order to have one, you gotta have the other. Watch out for your boy. Hey, to get success, you gotta double your rate of failure. A huevo que si, homie. I'm so sore. Yesterday I went to the gym. I got me a gym membership. And I did legs. Oh. So Vera Paredes. Put a little clover. You want foil on it, gold foil? Yeah. Or the rose gold? Uh, I guess, yeah. But where is the rose gold? Um, we're working on the invitation. So I let Lucky uh, choose the invitation, design it, and um, I actually liked what he chose. So now we're just trying to get everybody's name in the system. That way everything is printed on the envelopes and on the invitations. And I'm a little excited. And I think where are we heading to right now? To go try on your suit? Yep. Ah! We just got here. Let's go. Thank you so much. So, what are you thinking? Basically. Uh, so this would probably be your size here. Of course, it would need to be altered. Short and sleeves, just a hair bit more. Shorter than this? Relax. Always in relaxed position. Should be able to make the rest of the Oh, okay. It is pretty good. There's a mirror right up there if you would like to take it. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's looking for white with the black trim. 
Come look at yourself. I didn't think I had to look over him. I like the all white. Don't you, Kelly? Yeah. You know, well, traditional one thing would wear all white because it's the black shirt. It's the black shirt. Black shirt. Black shirt. Well, yeah, I mean, if you want to do the black patent leather, it would be a little too hot. No. Right, I'll bring a pair out that would go with it. You would want a pair of slip ons with that sun. What's that do? Nice. Nice. Take this thumbnail right now, man. I'm looking. <laughs> You don't think we're gonna look weird because you're wearing all white and I'm wearing ivory? No. He liking how he looking at us. I can give you some. Love those. I brought you these here. That's what I wanted him to wear. Pop the color. Oh, yeah. Now, I myself like the blue ones better, but I didn't have it in your size, so I brought the red one. Yeah, but these are our wedding colors. Oh, really? Well, then, you know what? Oh, yeah, I like these. Wood. I thought you would like that look. And, of course, watch. Turn the face in there. Take a sip. Wow. Of course, you, you need to paint. Button it, babe. Right there. Just barely touching that shoe. Yeah. I wear socks with you, too. I would still wear socks with the shoes, yeah. Socks? Yeah. socks. Well, you could do no-shows or something else. No-shows, please. Honestly, it just depends on the pants. Okay, the socks are an extension of your pants, so if you're wearing the white pants, do the white socks. Y'all yeah, rate Lucky from 1 to 10. But if you go without black socks, then honestly, it might be better to get both with that. I like the white pants. Type in the comments, let us know what y'all think. Black or white pants? Underneath. You start losing a little bit of that lapel, okay? See, it starts blending in too much. And you want to emphasize that because that's the whole point of having that black lapel. Okay. okay. So you can throw the white shirt and then do that, the color tie. There. Okay. That's a, not quite the right shape. Get an idea. Or you could do a black tie Throw in the wedding color on the shirt. What a black bow tie? With the black bow tie. So it gives you different options, just like the pants have different options. Ah. Matching the shoes. Yeah, th that's a wine color. Yeah. Same color as the shirt, right? Same color as the shirt. What do you like? Maroon, white. Yo, so that's a big color. You have a black bow tie. Well, the black bow ties are there. I really like this. Looks more wedding vibes. Same traditional wedding here, baby. You saying a traditional wedding? Uh -uh. I was trying to find the felt one to match yeah. the shoes, but that's red. That's not going to work. Oh, I like the felt in the maroon, though. So Yeah, the, I was trying it? to find that one in the felt. But y'all can get it? Possibly, we used to have it, so if it, it might still be available. Okay, so he got his measurements, he picked out everything he wanted, and now I think they're just gonna go ahead and try and order some stuff. Um, he gave us options, so uh, he has options, and um, now we're just basically waiting to see if they have a certain bow tie that Lucky picked, or if like, he can order the bow tie that he really wants. If not, he's gonna have to go with like a different colored bow tie and a different colored undershirt but for the most part he has chosen his wedding day tux and he looks so handsome he looks so nice so um i can't wait to the day of ah he's coming up got some stuff made it back to our side of town you guys and we were stuck in traffic for about 20 minutes somebody hit a tree they drove off the freeway went straight into a tree and we were stuck in traffic for like 30 minutes and in those 30 minutes we like saw a helicopter like land 
and then take off. Yeah. And then as we got closer to the actual accident, it was like blocked off. They made us go into a dealership and like around the whole incident. So we were able to see the car though. It was like, yeah, it was bad. Smashed right into a tree. That's why I have to be careful whenever y'all are driving. <clears throat> yes, I'm careful. I don't be on my phone as much as I used to. I'm working on it, baby. I'm working on it. But yeah, update. We got my tuxedo. We got we picked out the invitations. We got the invitation list. Uh, we're gonna go take our our uh, engagement pictures on Thursday. So we've got a lot of work done, right? Yes. Now tomorrow I have to go get my outfit for Thursday because we already spoke to the photographer and she is booked and ready to go on Thursday. But now all we're like waiting for is me, it's my it's your nails and your pictures. Well, I'm tired. We just drove from Baybrook Mall all the way to Spring. If you're from Houston, you know that's a long drive. I got a new Christian mixtape about to drop, man. Shout out to Young Cortez and Fire. Brian Trejo on there. Young Bro is jamming, man. It's jamming. And DJ Overdose is going to screw and chop it. It's going to be the first Christian screw and chop mixtape you ever heard. I'm sitting in this parent drive through line, man, and I was just thinking about this wreck that we just saw. I just, it brought me, brought to my attention why I wanted to remind y'all how important it is to get you some life insurance, man. I'm tired of seeing people with these GoFundMe pages because their families can't afford to bury them. They can't afford the funeral, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe they all get together and pay for the funeral, but then after that, the wife and the kids stuck out on their own now and have to fend for themselves. That's not what you want, man. Do you know that you can get $500,000 worth of life insurance for less than $100 a month? Did you know that? Y'all interested? Holler at me. We got licenses over here, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just talking about it, man. I'm certified with it. I'm licensed. My boy Anthony got a securities license for investments, man. You know what I'm saying? We got the plug. I'm trying to hook y'all up. I ain't just talking. And I ain't talking about them whole life insurance policies that take your money and say it's for savings and retirement, man. They they getting y'all. That ain't it. That's not the play. I ain't talking about group life insurance or group insurance like your job offers. I ain't talking about that, man. Because if you don't die at the job, most times they ain't going to pay out anyway. Make sure you properly protect it, man. If y'all interested, text 214-609-4711. Tell them Lucky sent you. You watch Lucky Christians couldn't look this hard. Draped up with a grill straight from Paul Wall. Hey, real talk, don't judge how we look. Cause we walk in the spirit, we just look like some crooks. Hey.